Hello there students, welcome back. This is a one mark question from gate 2014 exam. They have given you this code and they are asking what will happen if you run it. So option A was there will be a compilation error. Option B was there will be a runtime error. Parallelly something was there in option C and D. I don't remember what were option C and D. Anyways, let's see what will happen if you run it. First of all, let us see how can we take an input from user. Suppose I have declared this integer A and I want an integer to be taken as input from user and I want it to be saved in variable called A. So I will write scan f person D and A. And means the address of operator. So whatever is address of this variable A at that address save whatever user has entered. If user enters 33, 33 is going to be saved in this variable called A. Okay. So the thing is in scanf, we need to pass address of a variable. Okay. Now let us have a look here. First of all, we are declaring an integer called i. Okay. So i is declared. Some random value will be saved in i. We don't care what that value is. Okay. There will be some random garbage value. Suppose address of this variable is 700. Okay. Then in next line, you have written int star pi. So a variable called pi is declared. pi is a pointer to integer. That means this variable can contain only addresses. That two addresses of integers. Okay. And we are initializing it with and i. And means the address of operator. So the address of i is saved in pi. That means 700 is saved in pi. Okay. So pi is a pointer to variable called i. Its name is pi, maybe for pointer to i. Name can be anything, but pi is probably for pointer to i. In next line, you have written scan f person d pi. See, normally we write something like this here. Okay, scan, scan f person d and variable name. Here you haven't used and operator. But still it will work. Okay, there is no error in this line because pi also contains the address of i. So if you write like this or you simply write pi, both are one and the same thing. Okay, so here we have passed the address of variable called i. See pi contains the address of i. Okay, hence we want an integer type input from user and whatever user types that has to be saved in this address. So pi contains 700. That means whatever user enters, save it at address 700. Suppose user enters 33. Okay. We have already taken this value. Suppose now user enters 40. So 40 gets saved here. Then in next line, printf i plus 5 is done. What is i? i is currently 40. i plus 5 will be 45. So 45 is printed. An answer to this question will be the option which says whatever user has entered, 5 will be added to it and it will be printed. So if user enters 30, 35 is printed. If user enters 40, 45 is printed. If user enters 56, then 61 is printed. I hope you are getting. Now, most of the students will leave such questions. They will think, no, it can't be that easy. There is some catch. So if you are confident that Whatever you have read is correct. Just take this. Most of the students tend to leave such questions thinking that easy questions will not be asked in gate exam. That's not true. Okay. So that's all about this question. Yeah. One more thing. If you don't write and here, then what will happen? A is not a pointer. A is a normal integer variable. You have to write and here if you want this to work perfectly fine. But suppose you haven't written and operator, then what will happen? In that case, this A contains some random value. Suppose it is 919734. Okay, suppose this value is contained in variable called A. Now you are passing this value to scanf. Scanf will treat this value as an address. Scanf will feel this address is passed. Okay. Now suppose this is your program. So all these addresses program can access. This is address space of the program. But this is that address 919734, whatever it is. Suppose that address is here. 
the program is trying to access a address which it is not allowed to access. In this case, there is a memory protection violation. Hence, operating system will just not allow the program to access that memory location and this program will be terminated forcefully by the operating system. Okay. In this case, there may be a runtime error, but here things will work perfectly fine because you are passing a valid address. I belongs to this program only. You are passing its address. Okay. So there is no error. Okay. 